Hey guys, this is my second part for the top 20 must have apps for Galaxy Note, Note 2 and S3. So let's begin the countdown. So the first one in my list is the Envision. It's a news app for Android, uh, particularly Android only. Uh, you get all the infos and news about apps, game reviews, new movies, gadgets and so on like that. You can just uh, you know swipe to check out the headlines. And uh, if you are interested in any one of it, you, you can simply tap on to it uh, to read it. So that's all. That's pretty much it. That's uh, pretty handy. The second one in my list is the Speed Boost. It optimizes your RAM, and makes your Android faster, and it definitely works. So you can just open up this app and hit Clean System, and your work will be done. Okay, that's pretty much it. So that's the number two. So the number three in my list is the Sketchbook Mobile. So the name itself defines the app. You know, it's you can use this app for sketching and stuffs. You also get loads of op options for brush. You know, for professional painting and stuffs like that. For example, you can choose your brush sizes, brush styles, the effects. You know, if you are sketching, you can use it stuffs. You get loads of options. You can just go ahead and check it out. Okay. Say for example, I need this one. I can set the color as well okay so I need the red one red colored okay so okay here you have it now it's done let's close it you can draw you have you can resize your brush you can set the opacity level you can just erase you can use erasers you can create professional stuff you can also create, you know, a random lines. This is for the random line. For example, so you can use it. There you go. Okay, just resizing my brush. Sorry. Okay. There you have it. Uh, you can also create, you know, squares. There you have it. You can create circles. So you can use this app simply for sketching. You can use it for creating anything, any idea pops up in your mind, you can just unleash it with this app. So it's really helpful sometimes and it's fun to use as well. So that's my number three. So the number four in my list is the Vitream Video Editor. It's actually a video, video editing app. Moreover, you know, trimming any video. You can simply load this app and uh, select the preferred video that you want to trim. You can trim any certain area that you love the most set it and just hit trim so this will just uh, help you trimming videos right from your phone so that is really helpful that's my number four the next one is the gallery lock very very useful you can also use this app for stealth mode just to, just a second I'll show you okay so you can go on to settings use stealth mode so people won't find you know you are using any gallery lock app or something like that you can hide it you can change your password as well okay it's 7777 hit okay now you go back okay now you can't find the gallery lock app on on your uh, app drawer so now to open it go to the dialer and hit hit your password 7777 that was mine and hit call so that will open up your app so this is a really cool function i know you can open up your you know pics and hit add photo from gallery and choose your pics that you don't want to share it in public or you don't want to display so just uh, for example say I want to select this pic so it's hidden now uh, you go on to gallery now you won't find that pic yeah it's hidden now so again to launch it password and call so there you go you have it over here so the main thing is uh, you can use this app as in stilt mode so that's why I wanted to inform you about this app the next one in my list is the dolphin browser it's one of the fastest and the easiest browser for Android you also get extra plugins and more stuffs like that in the Play Store you can use this add button for bookmarking and also any websites that that you frequently use you can add it over here so it's easier to use. For example, by default, you have this Google, uh, Yahoo, Facebook, wallpapers, and so on. So 
So this browser is a totally cool. So you can go ahead and try it out. The next one in my list is the Home Manager. So you know this app is really helpful. Say for example if you are using multiple launches and right now you can see I have the Launcher 8 as well but I'm using the TouchWiz Home and even the Launcher 8 is consuming some memory. So this is to kill all the other launches running in background. So this app is really really helpful. If you use this app uh, you know you can set any launcher as your default launcher and uh, you can kill rest of the launchers that you are not using. Say, say for example I'm using the TouchWiz Home right now. I want to switch to launcher 8. Now I okay now I'm in the launcher 8. Okay so now you, I can go on to home manager hit clear default home select default I can select the Windows 8 and now just a second okay and now I can just kill it so now the touch with uh, home will not run run in the background and will not consume my memory the next app in my list is the desk notes but it's an widget so you can go on to widgets and you can simply place it okay you can select the uh, tile size the grid size I mean okay say for example I want the 2x2 two two. okay there you have it and you can select your font size and you can just type whatever you want say Jan 22nd party okay so there you have it pretty much like the sticky notes so the next one in my list is the gallery ICS it's um, it's a gallery app you know you can check all your photos and videos and stuffs like that from this app uh, it's really fast really cool it's one of the fastest gallery app for Android so you can just go ahead and try it out the next one is the Z archiver you can unzip any zip files right from your phone uh, with this app you don't need to unzip it from your PC and then connect the cable and transfer that file onto your phone you can simply download it on your phone unzip it using this app and use the file it's the next one in my list is the KII keyboard so now just to show you so this is the KII keyboard guys and uh, you can do lots of uh, customizations you can say for example you can choose input languages you can change your keyboard layout for example if you want a 13 key split layout you can just go ahead and check it out how it looks okay you can see it. it's different now you also can change the layout you know whether you want the portrait mode or the landscape mode uh, you can select colored key, key blocks let's see how it looks okay looks good you also can change the text color and you can choose between different fonts you can customize this keyboard it's highly customizable you can set up your gesture settings as well so you can go ahead and try it out the next one in my list is the pixel art express it's a photo editing app so just to show you okay so you can you have this uh, lots of effects you know you can uh, first uh, crop it sharp or you can do stuff like you know contrast adjusting a blurness or color splash you can also choose among various effects say I want this a vintage effect let's see how it looks okay there you have it and hit apply you can also add borders to your pick and you can give different effects adjust a brightness sharpness and so on like that so it's really really helpful you can edit your pics with this app the next one in my list is the paper camera it's simply a fun app actually it's really fun everything everything seems as if it's painted okay there you have it so that's pretty much it you can also go on with different effects just a second okay that's the sketchy style So these are the different effects. So the next one in my list is the SMS backup and restore. You can simply backup and restore your SMS with this app. You can hit backup and you can choose your external SD for backing up your SMS. Because uh, say for example if you use custom ROMs and if you backup your SMS and uh, call logs in the internal memory 
while formatting or while placing the ROM, you might lose it. Always do your backup on your external SD. Uh, the next one is the call log backup. It's, uh, it's similar and it's really helpful. The next one is the songs app. Say, for example, you need Bollywood songs, Hindi songs, or any, you know, just a second. Or m maybe other guzzles and other stuff like that, Hindi songs, you can use this app. And if it's English, you can just uh, go on with this uh, MP3 music download. So you can just uh, give the name and you can just download it from here. So very, very handy. So the next one in my list is the Ringtone Maker. Uh, the app itself says what it does. It's uh, for creating ringtone from any song. You can just snip a certain area, a certain part. I mean, just a second, I'll show you. Okay. So you can just edit. So you can set the default timing. At what point do you want? Okay. The highlighted uh, part means, you know, this is the part that you want as your ringtone. So you can just uh, set it up. Okay. So the selected part, once you have selected uh, a certain area, you can just hit this uh, save icon. And this will create a new tune. And you can just use it as your ringtone. The next one in my list is the Google Goggles. Uh, once you have it, just do the basic setup, search from camera over Wi-Fi only, next, next, okay. So, so once you have done the setup, how this app works is, you can take a pic and it will automatically search for results for that pic. If it's a famous landmark or anything famous, you'll get the result. You can also use it for scanning barcodes, QR codes. So the last one in my list is the Wikipedia. It's the official Wikipedia app and you know what Wikipedia does. You can search a lot of stuff, whatever you need, whatever you need to know for anything, about anything. You can just type it and get the details. So it's really helpful. So that's all guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed. Bye bye now and have a good day.